And for Chicago, Jason Dickinson will take the opening faceoff with Bedard watching from the bench. And it's controlled by Zaka. The starting lineups brought to you by Taco Bell. And now Korczynski, the 19-year-old centered it, hoping for a tip from Lucas Reichel, who's still looking for his first point of the year. Pointless through six games. Skated the other way now by Patra. Dumped it back for Kevin Shattenkirk. Patra down low and a stop made by Mrazek. A big hole in the middle of the ice, and nobody really expected much from the 19-year-old Patra at camp, except he scored the first game, so he got another game. He played really well, he got another game, and pretty soon he's on the opening night roster. A really heady, clever player. To take it away from Radish. Bruins trying to counter quickly a centering fever. McAvoy, and it's poked away by the stick of Mrazek. And cleared by Radish. It's Bedard at the top of the left circle. Down low, trying to jam it out in front. Perry, it was Johnson stationed on front. Bad turnover. Bedard scores! A terrible turnover right out of the stick of Bedard. And he rocketed one past Swayman. His third NHL goal, two of them against Boston. Bruins have control of the puck as Perry tries to go through the front of the net. Coyle wants to pass this to Derek Forbert. Forbert doesn't think the puck's coming to him. And it turns out Coyle passes right on the tee. And Bedard powders this pass. Jeremy Swayman, who's not expecting this to be... A shot on goal a half a second earlier. Wow. Over the glove. Quick release. Perfectly placed. And it's 1-0 on Bedard's third. Boston is using shot. the coach's challenge for offside prior to the goal. Mm. Well, you know, most often when they're challenging like this, they've got a pretty good idea that it's offside before he does. See, that's fine because as the puck gets there, his he's already broken the plane of the line, I believe. X number of seconds before the goal. Mm -hmm. On further video review, it was determined the play was offside. Ooh. We have no goal. Please reset the clock to 7.06. Maybe another weapon to his arsenal. Boston at the edge in shot attempts. Offensive zone time. Neither team a power play goal, obviously. And it's Chicago with the man advantage. A minute and 37 to start the period remaining. That's down to a minute and 27 now. Here's Seth Jones, played more than half the first period, was on for 10 minutes and 25 seconds. Corey Perry slides it in deeper, but guard going after Brandon Carlo there first for Boston. Bruins can't clear. Kept in by Jones, Perry. Now Bedard on the other side by the right circle. That shot deflected, it's free out in front. Bedard had it blocked by Forbert. Poked ahead, but not out by McAvoy. Donato powers to the front and had a great chance stopped by Swayman. And I think, Ray, that's an example of what the coaches have been talking to him about. Here's Van Riemsdyk now cutting in, knocked down by the glove of Morazic. Austin at age 34. Van Riemsdyk finds the seam, and he doesn't get out into the open ice very often. Most of his damage is from the hash marks down, and he wants to bring Morazic across to Morazic's right, but Morazic's in good position. He keeps his glove out front. Peter Morazic was out. Rid to the corner by Polino. Frederick centers one, and a point blank shot from Coyle, stopped by Morazic. He's very pleased with Gorczynski. Very coachable, 19-year-old, says he retains information very well. You only have to tell him something once. Score! Flip from the point by Shattenkirk. Might have been tipped en route. Looked like Saka might have tipped it. And Boston has the lead, one to nothing. 21 goals, a career high last year. Jake DeBrusque to Shattenkirk, and look at wide open in front of the net is Zaka. He gives it the old beaver tap, the little tap on the ice for Shattenkirk to deliver this puck. The puck's in a perfect position and Zaka's tip beats Peter Morazic up high. It's Kevin Shattenkirk's first point. Marshan turned it over and tried to take it back from Donato. Here's Kachuk trying to cut in and he put it on net. Matt Grizzlick now with under four minutes to go in the second period. 1-0 Boston on a Pavel Zaka goal. 
DeBrusk put it on net. McAvoy through traffic. Not sure Morazic saw that one. Now Grizzly. DeBrusk had it pop over his stick. Here's a chance for Radish. Played it off for Athen to see you. And in front, Reichel still can't buy one. The turnover leads to a three on two, and Reichel's going to make a nice little toe drag when he gets this puck right around the defender McAvoy stick. And he's dead center, but his shot also was dead center. And Bedard, I think we have this vision that he can do that, but he just can't. He needs some help. They don't have the puck enough tonight. Exceptionally popular, Lucic is off to a good start. Face off one by Boston. It deflects to Geeky, looking for a tip from DeBrus. Patra came to help. Room for Shattenkirk. That's blocked out in front by Jason Dickinson. And sent in by Korchinski. Of course, Chicago without Taylor Hall, the former Boston Bruin, who was traded over to the Hawks in the offseason. Aggravated a shoulder injury on Saturday night. Here's Patra. In a load. He scores! Matt Patra pots another. His third in his last two games. And it's 2-0 Bruins. The space in the middle of the ice. Is, this is really strong work by Patra to stay with Corey Perry. And then he takes it to his forehand around the left pad of Peter Morazic. Protect the puck. <laughs> and no goals a couple of days ago. Now he's got three as he slides this by Morazic. An unassisted goal for Matt Patra. And it's 2-0 Boston. I talked to your brother-in-law, Tony Granado, former terrific player and coach, now working with the Blackhawks television in their studio, talked in between periods. Said, you know, that's really a tough challenge, right? I mean, this is still a very young Chicago team, and they're playing a bunch of men in this Boston unit. Here's Coyle. Snapped it on net. Rebound, Van Reems, they put it out in front, and they score again. Two goals, just 56 seconds apart. Van Riemsdyk chips the puck past Connor Murphy. Murphy's now without a stick, so he's really not of much use. And before the help can get back from Kachuk, or from Kachuk rather, J JVR chips it out in front and driven in by Forbert. And Ray, this uh, Chicago team still with a lot of work to do on the rebuild. They have some uh, prospects in college hockey and junior hockey. They have a lot of draft picks coming, but you'd have to think it's a long shot for them to be a playoff contender this year. I, I really, I don't think that's even possible. I don't think it's in their wildest dreams, really. But here's Bedard with a chance late. Centers one went, went through. Kurashev. Good chance. One of the best of the night for Chicago. Well, we're down to six seconds to go. And Jeremy Swayman has his 10th career shutout in just 91 regular season 